what's going on guys 3g racing here come back at you with another video today i know it's been a while and i apologize i've been so busy lately and plus phillies are in the world series so it's kind of been taking up my weekends a little bit but we're back at it with another video today we're going to be going over why the mitsubishi eclipse is one of the most underrated cars ever made so let's get right into the action <laughs> Another deer, guys. They're out everywhere. It's not even dark yet. Hopefully, it... oh shoot, there's two more. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They're out everywhere today, <laughs> man. This is this is awesome. This beautiful day too. We're at the start of November in Pennsylvania here. It is currently 70 degrees out. It's been sunny all day. It's been like this the past three days too. So this is no joke. Um, it's gonna be nice all weekend too. I'm heading down to uh, Hershey's for uh, cars and coffee events, so that'll be fun. Maybe we'll see a uh, street speed. Oh, wow, it's a big pothole. Oh man, that one. Oh, if I hit that any faster, that would have hurt. And of course, we got speed bumps coming up too. Oh man, oh there it goes. But yeah, guys. So uh, let's let's get into this video though. All right, y'all, so for those who haven't seen my channel already, here's my 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse. It's a ripper. I love driving this thing. I've had it for uh, two years now. Absolute blast, and uh, it's the reason why I'm making this video here today, so I hope you enjoy. So reason number one, this is one of the most underrated cars ever made. You can pick them up for pretty much two, three grand literally all day long, and it cost me under probably under five, six grand to make this car look like this and perform the way it does. 100% worth the money. Uh, you're not going to get as many fanboys uh, drooling over your car as you would like, but at the end of the day, it's still a beautiful car, and I have absolutely no complaints about it. So, Now, a lot of times people complain about there not being enough modifications available for the car, but if you look hard enough, there is plenty you can do, like wheels and tires. Obviously, you can do that for any car. Carbon fiber hood. This one needs to be refinished a little bit, but overall looks pretty fly. Headlights, you can get taillights for it. Um, I got a wrap, too. Um, full NRG Prisma seats, the Ultras, harness bar in the back, completely gutted in there. A bunch of engine modifications too. So for the people who are saying like, oh, there's no modifications for it, ah, it's slow, like, you just gotta look a little bit for it. Like, it's not that hard, and I've gotten it to go 14.3 in the quarter mile, so nothing crazy, but they really handle really well, so I would say it's more of a uh, road racing car than anything, but you can you can make it whatever you want to be see guys this is what i'm talking about though. this is a beautiful pennsylvania day out here i could not not a single complaint it's like perfect hoodie shorts weather like i have no complaints right now this is absolutely gorgeous i couldn't wait to get done work today come outside film a video take the clips out so really enjoying this and i hope i hope days like this never end guys so let's keep uh let's keep them coming keep the videos coming now, another reason people don't like the Eclipse or kind of like throw it under the bus a little bit is for the looks of the car. But for me personally, like I've always really enjoyed looking at these cars. Like, I mean, I get the convertibles. They're not my favorite, but like people still make those look nice, too. Um, But yeah, I, like I guess it's not for everybody, but it just gives you that like sporty early 2000s Japanese look. And I mean, that, that's what I like in a car. Like, if you guys have seen my 3000 GT, I do like the way that looks a little bit. But at the end of the day, just, like, the drivability and, like, the fun that I have in this car tops that any day of the week. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not for everybody. But if you're a fan of Fast and Furious or maybe, I don't know, Need for Speed Underground when you're a kid or even Forza. I play with this car in Forza all the time. I mean, it, it's a fun car. Looks good, too, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not by any means saying this car is better than like an NSX Skyline or Super or even competes with any of those, but it is a very fun car. And I feel like all the Eclipses are kind of underrated. Like you have the early early and late 90s Eclipse GSX, which you can still buy the early 90s ones for like six, seven grand, which is ridiculous to get an all wheel drive turbo 4G63 car for. But helps all us uh, Eclipse fanatics out here and um yeah i mean i i mean i'll gladly buy one for five six grand so the rest of y'all missing out yeah let me let me uh pop the hood for you guys real quick so you guys can see uh everything that's under the hood here so here's what i've done to the car it's got a uh 6074 intake manifold 6074 throttle body um cold air intake 
Uh, it's got rip headers, Mishimoto hoses. Um, let's see, NVIDIA cat back. There's some coilovers on there too. That helps a lot if you want to road race a car, even drag racing too, just to get the tighter uh, suspension set up. Also, look at the meats down here too. Got some great tires on this car. So it absolutely hooks up driving on the um, track and back roads and stuff, which is uh, ultimately what I like doing most with the cars. So definitely recommend it if you haven't done it already. Uh, just join your local autocross or SCCA group and you'll have a lot of fun doing that. I know I was talking about Fast and Fierce a little bit earlier and sure, maybe it did affect the Eclipse's legacy a little bit. But personally, I think it would be in a negative way more than anything because at the end of the day, that car was hideous that they used in those Fast and Furious movies and... I'm surprised anybody even wants to um, make replicas of that one because I, I've never been a fan of the car. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but that car is ugly. So, yeah, I feel like that kind of killed the Eclipse a little bit. Like, they're not bad cars. I feel like the movie, it's put it in that ricer scene a little bit too much, but what you going to do? But yeah, guys, I feel like the overall drivability and, like, fun you'll have driving this car, especially the manual, is unmatched. Like, I'll put in a few clips here of me autocross racing. It is an absolute blast like you really cannot beat this like i well all right you can beat it not for the price like i picked this car up for 501 dollars two years ago and i've gotten so much fun out of that money like i would do that a hundred times over and not complain about it once so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video there guys uh, i hope you enjoyed i know i haven't posted in a while it's gonna be tough over the winter but I'm going to try to keep pumping content out for you guys. I might even uh, do a little gaming series doing like Forza, F1 racing, all that stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you think of that idea. But make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.